This is YBR with 7554. Some people say this is the first game out of Vietnam. Some say it is the first big budget game out of Vietnam. The big point is this game is literally made in Vietnam. And it's, it's one of the first ones. Very few. Whatever. And just to show off what it has. It has a story mode which has 12 levels. And you can each choose them levels here. But for now let's show off the other thing it has which is survival. There's survival against normal enemies. And then there's also zombie survival. So survival against normal enemies. You'll pretty much see that in the gameplay. But first I gotta show this off just because it's so seemingly random. Here's a story for it. It's plain text in the bottom right here. You can read it yourselves. I don't feel like trying to read it aloud. It's going to be really small though. So good luck. I want to say that's it. Oh. The story above is fictional and just for entertainment purposes. Emobi Games. That's the, the developer. Their name is Emobi Games. I should have pointed that out. It came out in uh, late 2001. I grabbed it from Gamers Gate for 10 bucks. That's what it retails. It retails for 12.99, but well, that's what they say. They always saying like in the interviews, we're retailing this for 12.99 because the people in Vietnam uh, like video games there are really cheap so they're saying we're gonna do this worldwide where it's cheap pretty much everywhere so even in the US where I am I can grab it from Gamers Gate for 10 bucks so it really is a cheap game and for that that's like the price it started as too you know it's not like it got really cheaper it's, it started really cheap and then it stays that way so here's just the uh, first thing you get this thing is really like hey you know Call of Duty Zombies? We can have that too. And then this is what was born of that. So when you first start out, you have no money. And a different set of guns for both levels. You could slice the zombies. See this one, this level, it seems to have a couple of problems. There's really no sound to it. Like it's dead silent. I should have actually chose the other level. But you can kind of hear the zombies and stuff now. But the other one has like rain sounds and stuff more. I mean, I guess it does have sounds, but comparatively, the other one seems more lively. So what happens is if you get too far away from the zombies, they'll crawl back underground kind of thing. For now, we're just going to slice them because that's a viable strategy at the moment. Eventually, it becomes less viable, but I don't know if it ever really becomes not viable. So they just go back into the ground. And if you attack them while they're going back into the ground, you don't get any points for it. You just waste bullets. So there you go. That's how many people are in the first round. Now the sun burns them. It's more enemies every round. And between rounds, you can buy more guns. So you just run up to here. Say, oh, yes, I want to buy ammo. Certain type of gun you got. You can just buy more grenades. Buy heavy weapons, a flamethrower, some automatic rifles. There's a good variety of stuff you can buy. Right now I'm going to hold off on any weapons and I want to just get my uh, money up using the sword to get a flamethrower. You can also buy mounted guns that just disappeared. You can buy them. They stay mounted. They do not have infinite ammo. It is a limited amount and then you're fucked. Really not worth it because the other ones you could buy more ammo. Those ones I don't think you can. So if you're going to buy guns, buy it for carry, not mounted. Mounted is just a poor choice. Okay, so anyways... Supposed to be zombies. Where are they? Yeah, there's one. Let's just slice them up. Like I said, you do have guns right now, but you can use the knife, save the ammo, save the money, get a flamethrower as soon as see these guys are too far away, so they just burrowed. Same with those guys, they're just burrowing now because I'm too far away. There's some. Are they fucking there? Uh the hit detection for this knife is kind of a pain sometimes. 
Uh, yeah, there's a good example of it. That seems kind of delayed sometimes. Sometimes it just seems like it misses when it shouldn't. Like, there we go. That missed, see? Because it's a, right now on these guys, these guys are weak, so you can one-hit them pretty much. Always. And I can take... You could take a little bit of a beating, not much. Right now, I'm just being unsafe by using my sword to get as much money as possible. See, like, there's a miss, there's a miss. There we go. And you could try cutting them while they're burning. You don't get any money, though. You just get a pile of dead bodies. So, flamethrower, that's expensive. So, we're just going to keep on uh, fighting on like this for a bit longer. I do have some grenades I could use. They're expensive, though. So, machete will do. And after I get the flamethrower and start burning them, I don't know. Then we'll actually get to the actual game. And this is just like a mini game type thing for it. Like I said, it's kind of like, hey, Call of Duty has this. We can have that, too. I'm pretty sure there must be some way to, like, these guys take two hits sometimes. It depends where you hit them. And they also hop. These guys don't hop. The other ones hop. But I'm pretty sure there has to be a way to, like, get into an area. Like, maybe here? No. But, you know, where... Well, let's not die first. Where they can't hit you and you can hit them. It's just a matter of finding it. I mean, there just has to be. It's the way video games are. There's always a glitch for these kind of things. Always. Or at least a really easy area. Let's run a bit. Alright, good. Run a bit. Good. So you get $100 no matter what, unless you chain kills. If you can kind of like chain them one after the other really fast, you get like 200 and if you chain it again, 300 and the next one's 300 and again, and so on, 300s. Uh, you can't do that with a knife no matter how fast you do it. Like, see, you just can't chain them fast enough. You can only do it with bullets and a gun. So there we go, that's another wave down. Only two more waves until we can get a flamethrower. Uh, it might technically be easier to buy a gun and then gun them down to get the bonuses. I don't know. I mean, we could try it. We can get a M1 carb. Or we can get a scoped. Or we can just be patient. Just be patient, you know. Fuck it. Let's just wait. That's what I said. Ooh. That's what I said I would do. I don't know why I felt like cutting that. I mean, yeah, the hit detection is kind of terrible on the sword, but I'll deal with it. Uh, it's nice when you can kill them before they even get out of the ground, though. See, those guys hop, though. They're like bunnies. That's probably, like, offensive in some way, I would assume. I don't know. Maybe it's just random after all, but I would think it must be, like, the reason they hop is because it's to be offensive or something. But that seems in bad taste also, so who knows. So yeah, you could do the- like, the thing- the problem is, for these, is you can run through them. So, like, if they're a threat to you, you can pretty much just run away no matter what the circumstance. Alright, we're only 5,000 away from a flamethrower. Maybe a couple more rounds more than I thought. Oops. Let's, uh, let's continue my idea of trying to find that spot. Like, should I get up on this house, maybe? I don't know. Come on, this is pretty high up. I don't know if they get me. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oops. So if I buy a gun and then run up to here, I'd probably be safe. Oh, shit, until I fall. Wait, get back up there. Uh, I, I don't know what engine this is running. It's not running a normal engine, though, like you'd normally find in games. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. So, oh, I'm getting hit still. Man, this, this guy's got long arms. I wonder if it's coded where it doesn't matter how high away you are, just how far. Because that'd be a clever way to get around it. Oops. 
run away a bit. It's infinite health, basically, because you you have that weird re refilling health magic system that a lot of video games have. I still don't like it that much. I like health packs. But that's just me. Most people like this, so I stopped complaining about it as much. It just makes it too easy for this kind of thing, though. It's like survival, but it doesn't matter if you get injured because you just get right back up. So you can get them while they're trying to burrow, but it doesn't damage them. Run away a bit. Okay, good to go. It's funny when they burrow straight through fucking concrete. Like, they don't even give a fuck. Dirt makes sense, but then concrete, they're just like, fuck this. One more round and we can get the flamethrower. The reason we're getting the flamethrower is because I have never used it before and I actually want it. Worst reason ever, I know. I'm sorry. It's just a lot of the time I was trying out all the rifles and stuff and then I didn't buy a flamethrower. Uh, really, the only thing that stopped me before was like, I'm bored. Or I had to run back and grab more ammo and trying to find an ammo box in the uh, other level to buy ammo. It's a little bit harder to find them there. This one's pretty easy. It's like, look in a building and you'll find some. The other one is in a forest, so it's a little more difficult for that kind of thing. You can still find what you want, though, without trouble, usually. But one time, I was like, I can't find ammo. I'm bored. I'm killing myself. And so was the life of that one. These guys are a little tougher. Um... Oh shit. They're also a little stronger. No good. We didn't even fucking use a gun. Accuracy. Negative. 2147483. What? Sure. Uh, there's try again or try again. That's not right. Before I could hit main menu, I thought. Hold up. If I, uh pop a couple bullets so my accuracy is actual number. Will that fix it? I swear before that I said back to menu or something. But I might have imagined it. I imagined it. Yep, nothing new here. Just YBR being crazy. Alright, so this is now the actual game. We're going to do a new game on normal. So here's the intro. It's all in Vietnamese at top, but then it's all subtitled on the bottom. You can read it. Uh, it's actually kind of scrolls fast for me to read it, so that's why I say you do it here. The other one I said it, even though it really wasn't necessary because I could have read that because it was slower, but some parts here are just fast and I want to deal with it. Alright, so there's the story. Don't ask me how true that suicide unit thing is. I really don't know. I would assume it's true, though. I mean, that's just one of those things where... Why would they lie? You know? 
So that's just an interesting thing I never knew about, really. I mean, I don't, I don't know much about the war in Vietnam at all. Type stuff. And... So anyways, um, none of the uh, voices are redone. It's all straight up still in Vietnamese, which is perfect. Like some people, oh, it's not English. No shit, they're not. They shouldn't speak English. It makes sense. Why? I'm just one of those things where it shouldn't be dubbed over. So here's the first part. Your, jo your job is to um, attack them. And by them, I mean anybody who's running around over there. And yeah, it's not easy. You get shot at. So then you do the pussy ass, like hide behind cover and magically heal. There is a guy. Oh, see, my aim sucks ass. I missed. There's a grenade. Clock can get away. Shit. Why be I sucks at this? I haven't killed one person. Like, I just, I have trouble fucking seeing people. And hitting them, apparently, as well. I didn't think I had trouble with that, but now I know I do. Because those are four shots so far where nothing's been hit. Five shots. Woo, I'm at... Like, fucking less than 20% accuracy. Okay, I actually got somebody that time. Alright, so you just stay around here and shoot. If you try to leave, they'll say, hey, don't leave. Go fight, you. Or go back over here and defend, is what it actually says, I think. So as you can tell, it has hit markers. One of the nice features, because I don't never know if I'm fucking hitting things or not. It has about a dozen levels. I think I might have said that. This is just the first. We're gonna do the first. And more can be done if there's a demand for it, as always. If there's a demand for more videos of this game, I can do the whole game as a Let's Play. Right now, we're just blowing through ammo, basically. There's a grenade. It hurt them. I'll take their upper positions. Another grenade about to blow up. Didn't hurt me much. Ears do ring if you... Yeah, I am missing all these shots, alright? I'm sorry. Like, how the fuck did I even miss that one? That one's like... Oh. This is hideous. I'm being... Look at this shit. I can't hit shit right now. I'm gonna run out of ammo before we even get done with the first stage. Let's see if I can get a better angle up here. There we go. Stuff's happening. That's supposed to happen, don't worry. That's one of the suicide units, I guess. I don't know. I mean, that's like an individual. When I think of unit, I think like a whole squadron of them. But it seems like they just have units of those guys kind of thing. I don't know. Phrasing could just be the way I think of things versus terminology. Might be my terminology's fucked, probably. See, I keep missing. How am I sucking so hard? Usually I only suck a little bit. Like, I'm almost out of ammo already. For the, this gun. You have a pistol, too. Doesn't do much good. I'm supposed to go over here, too. I forgot. Shit. I was only blue, what, 10 shots over there now? For no reason? Oh, well. You can try to use that desk as cover, but I think it breaks if you get shot too much. Out of ammo. Boom. 
Boom. And that explosion is so big, he's almost dead, but he's alive, maybe. He is alive. I'm lying. About him being dead. He's alive. No, really, he's alive. Because you talk to him. There's some more story. Again, I don't... So it's follow the squad leader is a thing now, so we just do that. I'm just looking around here real quick. I'm just curious if anybody... Yeah, there we go, good. So I, f I figure there has to be some ammo drops somewhere in this game. First time I played through it, I didn't find any. So this time I found one, so that's all good now. So let's catch up to him. Luckily, he'll wait for you. He's such a nice guy. It's like done, he's dead, and then there's still like a shit ton of people on these rooftops. So now our job is to just kill the people on the rooftops. And we'll do that right now. Oh, we're not. There's no uh, manually saving in this game. It's all autosave based. So that's. You better play it careful. It's just, every time the mission changes, there's an autosave though. So, fairly frequent. Uh, why did I do that? I shot right as I got shot, so I missed entirely. Yep, yeah, YBR suck at video games, that's for sure. I'm missing everywhere. Supposedly there's still one alive. There's a guy there, but I don't... Oh, I could get him. Alright, cool. So I'm not sure if these like mem these specific things are like based off of an actual guy's memories or not. I've found no indication either way. It just kind of seems like it could be though. I don't know. A little too dramatic, but you know, let's play. Oh my god, I can't see shit. That's why I hate this health system. It's like, I can't see shit. Can't see shit again. I got, uh, I got things for when I can't see shit. Where are they? Throw a grenade. Throw another grenade because they're not shooting you yet. Did it work? Maybe? This gun takes forever to reload. Feels like. Well, I usually use this gun in a pinch, so what happens is like, oh god, there's a guy right in front of me and I need to reload. Feels like forever in that circumstance. The second you get on that gun, you're just getting... just destroyed. Ugh. So like, holy fuck, I can't see shit. Ah! 
Let's get down. Let me... Shit. Can't see shit again. This health system. I always can't see shit, though. So there we go. Next part of this mission is retreat to second floor. Got enough kills to activate it, I guess. You can switch guns with this one if you want. We can follow him like we're supposed to. Hey, I'm supposed to follow you. Come on. There you go. Because I always forget which way to go, anyways. It's like a maze in here. Right, let's. This is the only spot you should really go in this situation. Except there's two grenades. That's, I think, the too far away to matter, but still. Okay. Because you get surrounded here. You get enemies from every direction. And it's bad. Hey, I saw you. So now we're supposed to go this way. Just keep following him. It's our job. So we have a Molotov. Remember that? We're going to use it soon. Not yet. We're going to hold just a bit longer. Didn't end up using it very efficiently, but oh well. I tried. It's funny, I'm having better accuracy aiming from the hip than trying to aim through the scope. Uh, so bad at video games. One thing I don't like is you can't reload and jump. Reload and run, sure, but I like reloading and jumping, damn it. It's my little liking, I like that. I just got two and one. Yeah, hey, there's all these bodies. You can get one of their guns too, just steal it. Oh, look at my new gun, uh huh. So we'll go with both of theirs just because ammo's not as big as a concern. Still is a concern. Not as big. Comrade. Okay, so the game crashed. We're back at the part where we retreat to the basement. Um, I don't know. Games always seem to crash on me. Didn't crash when I wasn't recording. Only when I'm recording, it seems like. Oh, well. We'll deal with it, though. We're just going to do this section again. So there's the grenade again. Let's see if it crashes in a similar manner or not. See this comrade, and then these guys come in. It's a space to melee. So he's stabbing the leg so he can't react to the crazy ninja skills he has. See, this time I didn't pick up their gun, though. Shit. There's no backtracking either, so I'm stuck with the gun I got. Oh! Yeah, what the hell. It's just for ammo. You kind of need to do that just for ammo's sake. So now we're supposed to defend the backyard, and by that, it means go to that location. To get there, we gotta, we gotta fucking get behind cover. Because we're about to die! We're about to die again! Just wait. I think it's just I'm always about to die in this game, that's what it is. I got grenades still, don't I? Molotovs, close enough.
Okay. Sure, so far is alright. Uh huh. Maybe I'm close to dying. Like I said, I always suck at telling if I'm about to die with this health system as well. I am terrible at it. It's because every game does it slightly different, so you never can know. Hey. I see you, don't worry. Oh, how'd I miss those? That was terrible. So now we gotta retreat more. I'll do that gladly. Objective completed. Fight to the last breath, alright. And now you get a nice black screen with some gunfire. Sau 5 năm chiến tranh, quân Pháp tại Đông Dương càng ngày càng xa lầy vào thế phòng ngự. Ngày 1 tháng 10 năm 1949, nước Cộng hòa Nhân dân Trung Hoa được thành lập, nhanh chóng công nhận và thiết lập quan hệ ngoại giao với chế độ Việt Nam Dân Chủ Cộng Hòa. Ngày 18 tháng 1 năm 1950, Liên Xô và các nước Đông Âu công nhận và đặt quan hệ ngoại giao với Việt Nam Dân Chủ Cộng Hòa. Pháp thực hiện tăng cường hệ thống phòng ngự đường số 4, khóa biên giới Việt Trung, cô lập căn cứ địa Việt Minh với bên ngoài, thiết lập hành lang Đông Tây, cô lập Việt Bắc với đồng bằng Bắc Bộ, chuẩn bị lực lượng để tấn công Việt Bắc lần 2. Quân đội nhân dân Việt Nam vạch kế hoạch chủ động tấn công để mở cửa biên giới, khai thông bàn đạp, liên lạc với Trung Quốc, Liên Xô và khối xã hội chủ nghĩa. Ngày 16 tháng 9 năm 1950, Trung đoàn 174 và Trung đoàn 209 tiến công đánh chiếm cứ điểm Đông Khê với mục đích cô lập Cao Bằng, uy hiếp cứ điểm Thất Khê và phá thế trận phòng thủ của quân Pháp trên đường số 4. So that was my uh, Vietnamese impression. Ah, uh, no, that was actually that's actually a voiceover that's with the game. And again, you have a black screen with gunfire until the level loads. You could have pressed spacebar to skip it, but I like that. It's just random. It's like, oh, let's have a black screen. Oh, let's have gunfire. And then you have a black screen with gunfire. All right, so that that'll be the end of this video. If you want more, request a let's play, and we could do the whole thing. You know. Uh, until next time, it's been YBR. I'll see you next time.